Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. According to the latest figures by the United States Department of Commerce, the annualized growth rate for gross domestic product has been revised down for the first quarter of 2010. In April, the Commerce Department had projected the quarterly growth rate at 3.2%. Having had a month to get more accurate projections, Commerce has revised that figure down to just 3%. In a $14 trillion economy, it may not seem important or even significant to see a relatively marginal drop in GDP growth. However, that slight drop equates to nearly $29 billion in lost economic development over the course of a year. That figure, $29 billion, would be a huge boost to almost any other economy in the world. Just because our economy is already enormous does not mean that we should not embrace any and all growth. That slight drop in GDP growth could have equated to thousands of jobs. In a nation like the United States that is so struggling mightily with unemployment, losing job opportunities by the thousands is a huge hurdle to our eventual recovery. According to the Commerce Department's figures, the biggest areas that were driving the economy were consumer spending and financial investments. Consumer spending is largely done on imported goods, essentially equating to a shift of our wealth out of the United States and into other countries. Meanwhile, the most part of financial investment is done by huge banks and other enormous corporations. The ups and downs of the stock market hardly benefit the average American from day to day because the vast majority of us are not financial traders. This means that we are left with service industry jobs and a dwindling base of productive facilities to survive in an economy increasingly based in other sectors. No other growing nation in the world is built like this. And we should be surprised that our GDP, which is not a good indicator of economic vitality, is growing at all. American recovery cannot come from a GDP growth rate of 3%. And our GDP cannot grow more robustly if it continues to be based in fanciful instruments like spending and finance. A recovery will require redirecting our economy to what made it great to begin with, productivity and output. For more related news and topics, please tune in and log on every day at economyincrisis.org. And for up-to-the-date news on events from concerned citizens and economy in crisis, please visit us on meetup.com. Wake up, America. Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.